Halloween is a little more than two weeks <laughs> away, and a CBS2 viewer tells us he won a contest and has the biggest pumpkin in the state this year. This 1,500 pounder didn't just grow by dumb luck. And it didn't come from a farm either. Instead, a Wheaton backyard. There's a lot of work that actually goes into getting a pumpkin this size. 1,510 pounds, top of the state, and it all starts with the right seat. They're easy, $400, $500 a piece. It's a bit of a risk. It's, it's slightly a gamble. You pay $500 for a pumpkin seed, it might not even sprout. Next up, the soil. Send it off to the lab, get it tested. We get the results back, and we add the amendments in so that we have the perfectly balanced soil. Joe Adkins even heats the soil with underground coils in the spring to jumpstart the growth. It's almost like magical. Magic, like the speed of the growth. Rapid growth stage of these giant pumpkins, they can grow 50 pounds a day. Another key, the water, and lots of it. Rainwater is best because it's filled with nutrients. With the city water, they just don't grow as well. All right. Like a surgeon, Adkins sets up his tools and gets ready to go to work carving. You can already see, yeah, look, here's a, here's a nose here. Right and <laughs> there's going to be some eyes right in here. I start carving them in July sometimes. Best part is absolutely when you get to the carving of the pumpkins. Carving this style here for maybe like 10 years or so. And take wow. a look at the finished product. <laughs> I love it. Isn't that amazing? All right, so he says Adkins at 300 to 400 trick or treaters come by every year. He hands out candy and pumpkin seeds oh. so they can try to grow their own. Yeah, good fun. luck in it that big, right? How hey. many pies can you get out of it? Yeah, no <laughs> kidding.